This is item number 45 on the released spring 2014 test items from the Tennessee end of course algebra 1. Um, so which grant best represents the linear equation y equals 6x plus 1? There's, you know, this isn't that hard of a question. Uh, one of the things that you could do if you're really calculator needy is to graph it, of course. So we'll do that as one of our things that we do to solve this. So let me just open up the calculator emulator here. Don't worry, TI, I own a ton of these. Um, so what I'm going to do that you may not do is to change my window to be exactly the size and or the dimensions of this window. So it goes from 7 to 7 in the Y, or negative 7 in the Y, and from negative 7 to 7 in the X. So I'm going to change my minimum values of X and Y to meet those. That way it'll look almost exactly like the graph and it will be easy to tell. So now that I've gotten it, 6x plus 1, I'll graph it. And it looks like this. So the big issue is that it is going straight up. It is crossing right around in this area. And you can actually zoom in if you want to find the exact area where it's intersecting. And even more so, you can see it's crossing like right at 1. So it's looking significantly like I'm going to be picking B for this one which is right here. Uh, the other side of it is you could just know what y equals 6x plus 1 looks like. I tend to circle this one just to make it so you can see easily that y equals 1 is the intercept. So it should be crossing right here. This one's doing it. This one's doing it. This one's doing it. All the cool kids are doing it, apparently. Uh, so this is everybody's hanging out at plus 1. So 6x is a positive number, so anything that's not a positive should be going up over time as opposed to down. So anything going down I can just eliminate, so that's out and that's out. Now I have to think, okay, what's 6x mean? Well, 6 as a fraction is just 6 over 1, so that means it's going up 6 because it's positive, and right 1. So I'm going to start here and go up 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and over 1, and there should be a dot there, and there is. If you want to go the other direction, you want to go left, you just change um, this to 6 down, 1 left. Now you have to change both. You can't go 6 down and 1 right because then that would change the sign on the number. But uh, 6 down, 1 left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and over 1. And look, there it is. So the answer to this one is B. Anything you want to do in that realm is fine. Um, just choose what you're going to do. If you're going to use the calculator, which is completely perfectly fine to do here, uh, just make sure that you press the numbers in exactly because this question is way too easy to be missing for no good reason. So that's it.